In this video, we will do some data wrangling using Starter. To illustrate um, the process, um, I will use the world development indicators because everyone has access to it. Yeah, free stuff rules. I don't want you to spend any money on it. Um, and um, um, you can now select um, exactly the type of data you are looking for. Then we have um, a, a country selection um, and then we have different time series. Then we select um, the time periods and we apply these um, changes. For instance, um, here the time would be in column, so that um, is um, acceptable. The time series would be in rows, country, each page. Better to have it all in one row. Yeah, so we have different countries and we have observations here over time. Let me just download that as a CSV file. So before you import anything into Starter, um, it's useful just to have a look. Um, very often you might spot some issues. For instance, um, here you see that the database is mentioned. So that, that could cause problems when you import or just remove it. Um, and also the missing values are coded with dot dot. Select, you go to replace and you just um, use blank. So double dot becomes blank and you just say replace all. Um, and we remove these, we don't need that. I would actually suggest getting rid of um, any of these names. What you note is I keep the data in this folder. So I will not just you um, copy paste that and change my directory. So I change the directory and we should be now in the directory. Directory. The next thing we do is we use an in sheet. I just now comment this out. We use that later. The in sheet command using, and then I use the name of the file. Um, I use the clear option just to be unsafe, so it's not absolutely needed here, but it just clears any data in memory just in case. Let me just do a bit of renaming. One is my country, the variable two is my code. Now, if you look at the data structure, it's not quite what we want. Yeah. So if you want to have panel data structure, you have to have the first country and all its years, then moving to the next country and all its years. The idea is um, to um, duplicate um, the data we have. So first, how many years do we have? Uh, well, looking at this, we seem to have, we have 12 years in here. That's 12 and we just see how that goes. If we are wrong here, we just have to readjust that. So don't worry about this. And the next thing I should do is I should also sort at the same time. So I sort code and I just run it one more time. So now we have all these um, duplications. Yeah? So at, the big, at the moment, it doesn't make an awful lot of sense, but you will see in a moment that actually it does make sense. The next thing is I would like to start counting these observations and generate here um, a year variable. Yeah, so I could do this, I can use a by command after sorting and simply count observations. And then I adjust to start in um, 2007. So how do I do it? I can do something like by code and I am now generate what I call year and I simply count, so underscore n is simply counting. Of course, it would start counting from one, but the first observation should be 2007, so I add 2006 to it. Another browse um, how that looks like, and you see it looks fine. Yes, if we go up 2007, eight, and so on. Now, the next thing I would like to do is I would like to generate a new variable, um, and then the idea is wherever um, the year is, I would like then to um, take that information and replace it. So, put different in 2007, we have to be here. So, we need to be in V3. In 2008, we have to move to V4 and so on, then V5, V6 and so on. So every year we shift by one column um, and replace the value accordingly. And I just um, generate missing here yeah, because um, I want to replace values inside a loop. Let's do a four values um, and we start at um, three. So I just select now I, so that's my index starting at um, 3, going up to 15. 15, I have to type properly. Open brackets, closed wavy brackets. I do indentation, but of course you don't have to, it's not Python, but it's a bit more tidy. So I replace, what do I replace? Well, I replace um, the variable, which is my prime, 
equal to um, these um, v variables. Yeah. So when we go back to the structure v3 um, and so on. So how do I do it? Well, I just write now v and then I use the index. Yeah. Note you need the um, quotation marks in starter. So the first quotation mark is the one below the escape key and this is the single quotation mark. So here you have to be careful. This is quite different from Python. So that means that um, it would take now my v3 and then it goes um, in the next round of the loop to v4 and so on. Um, and of course, um, we now um, associate this with um, our year variable. So we know we start in 2007. So 2007 would be 2004 plus my i. Yeah, so that would be 2007. And when we go to V4, it would be 2008 and so on and so on. There are very few observations, I guess, and maybe are none. Are there none whatsoever? That's also possible. We might not have any observations in the last one. Oh, we have a few. Yeah, so now what we have done, if when you look at the case of Ghana, um, so we take in 2007, we take V3 and we replace the value here. Yeah, so that's exactly what we are supposed to do. Then we move on to the next one, and this is v4, and then we go into v5, then we have a missing one, and then we go into v6, and so on it goes up to um, 2018, which is v15. Ah, so it goes to 2019, actually. Yeah, so I missed one. It goes up to 2019. Haha! -ha. How do I fix it? Um, quite easy. So I have to expand more, 13. Um, that should fix it um, and run it one more time. Yeah, here we are. So now we have it. It goes up to 2019. You see that we missed one year. It looked a bit suspicious in, in the Excel file. Um, it, uh, it, it looked as if 2018 is the last year, but actually there are very few. So I put a label there for my prime um, and then simply threw in here the description and that should be it and now I have it um, I tidy up so I just drop using the asterisk all these in between values um, and I um, should usually sort one more time in this case I do a sort um, code year so I have a panel data structure and then I would save it which um, is then my world development indicators DTA and I would use a replace yeah, so that should do it. And then, of course, once I have it ready, I can merge it into other files and so on. Yeah, of course, we should spell correctly. Here we go. Spell correctly. Ah. Okay, one more time. That's done. Have a look. Yeah, so now we have our primary school enrollment. We have the years, we have the code. And now, of course, we can start merging stuff together. Okay, so that's good. That's all in for this video. I'll see you in the next one.